Okay, another great image sent in by another great artist. We're going to try to break down his editing style and replicate one of his edits. And we've actually done one of his edits before, but this time we are going to be working with this image down here. So really dramatic lighting and lots of aerial shots and using the natural colors in the image. So I really like this and you guys can go give him a follow in the description if you also like his content. So let's get into Lightroom. So turning this into this, and I think it's going to be a bit of a challenging one, but the first thing I'm going to do is, I don't know if you guys notice it at all, but the truck in this image is a little bigger than in this image, and same goes for the road. So I think coming down here, we could go profile corrections, but it doesn't do a lot. So what he's done is brought the distortion Any further it starts to bend in, but what it does, it really compresses that photo in and creates a nice effect for drone shots. So 18, it doesn't band inwards. So I'll leave it there. Now messing around with exposure. Drop the warmth by a bit. you can see we've got some pretty bright areas in the image and some pretty dark areas. So it's going to be done with uh, mostly filters, I'm thinking. Bring down some blacks. Not too much clarity because he does have quite soft images. Okay, so I'm going to try to add a vignette and see if we can get some of this darker edges. Okay. I'm going to add in some color contrast now. And that's the uh, RGB's done. So you can see that gave a bit of contrast to the image. If you could see the before them, if you noticed, you can see that there's a bit more contrast in there now. So we're going to add in quite a bit of a fade. Okay, so we're getting a little closer now. You can see that we've almost got the dramatic lighting. But we'll just do a bit more with some filters. So I brightened this one up here. As you can see, that's what he has done. And I darkened this corner a bit more down here. And I just added a bit more warmth in there because I think there's a bit more warmth shining through and a bit of dehaze just to soften just to soften that transition all right we are going to try to fine tune some colors now so starting with hue not many reds So the yellows, we obviously want to be pretty warm. Same with the greens. So 
So the blue, you can see it's slightly affecting the road. I'm going to make it a bit more teal. As you can see, it's quite a light greeny blue. Not many purples. Not many magentas. Uh, might do luminance next. So I'm going to bring down these oranges to make it deeper. Same with the yellows. And I might just try to so this will really help give it more of a green tint. So back on to green. Right, saturation. Not many reds. Oranges can come up a bit. Greens down a tad. Right, I think we're pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We look a bit more saturated on the far side. Uh, we'll do some sharpening. Just brighten the side up a bit. Maybe add a bit of warmth into this filter. And I think we're looking pretty close to before and after. Right, so I'm going to leave it there guys. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. I don't know if we got there exactly. Pretty close. I can't actually really tell now. But yeah, leave a comment what you guys thought. Let me know if you're liking these. And yeah, check out my preset pack if you haven't already. And yeah, mate, make sure you go give them a follow. There's links in, in the description and give myself a follow over on Instagram. I will start creating a lot of content there soon. Just that my camera has been broken for months now. It's driving me insane, but I enjoy doing this. I enjoy helping you guys who seem to really like these. So I will see you guys in the next one.